Hello and welcome to your second Fancade scripting tutorial. In the last tutorial we learned about values and variables and in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at some basic math. So if we open up the inventory and scroll down you'll see that there is actually a whole category dedicated to math functions and if we go in here you'll see there's a whole lot of stuff in here don't worry, we're not going to look at all of it today. Uh, for now, we're actually just going to look at the ad new ad block. Well, it's not new, but it's right here, the ad block. And uh, since we're going to be adding some values together, why don't we grab some values as well? There we go. So if we zoom right in here and take a look at the block, uh, you might already f have figured out uh, how it works or what it does uh, just by looking at it. It has two inputs right here and one output. And what it does is it takes its two inputs, which are both numbers, it adds them together, and then it outputs the result of that equation. So it takes the two numbers as in, uh, from the inputs and outputs uh, the sum of those two numbers. So let's test it out real quick. Uh, let's put down two numbers and plug them both in. And let's say uh, we give the first one the value of 6 and the next one the value of 5. Now in order to view what uh, this outputs, what this ad block outputs, uh, what we did last time was with that we used the set score block. And we could also do that now today, but there's actually another way uh, to do this. And uh, that is via a block called inspect. And this is what the inspect block looks like. So inspect is used to view uh, different number of different values. Uh, so if you plug this right in and we hit play, you'll see that it shows the output of the ad block. Now, as you can see, uh, the ad block is taking the two numbers, five and six, adding them together, uh, which equals 11. All right. Now the insert block is used uh, a lot for uh, for uh, debugging. If you have a lot of a lot of code uh, which isn't working properly, you can use inspect to inspect different uh, variables or something like that to figure out why the code isn't doing what it's supposed to or why it isn't working. Anyways, so that's how the ad block works. Uh, we could also uh, play around with this a little. We could say something like 8 plus uh, 14, which is going to be equal to 22. We could also do something like this, 2.6 plus 3.8, which equals 6.4. You can also make one of the numbers negative and add positive numbers, negative numbers. You can also add negative numbers with each other. You can do a whole lot of stuff. Let's go back to the 6 and, and 5 again. Alright, so let's open up the inventory again and go back into the math category. Uh, there are uh, a few more math functions I would like to show you. There is subtract, multiply, and divide. Now to, to show you all of these uh, math functions, I am just going to copy the code we already have and then switch out the add block for each of them with these three blocks right here, uh, the subtract, multiply, and divide. So uh, I want to copy this code and place it down three more times. So there is actually a copy and paste function built into the app. And to use it, all you have to do is just uh, drag and select the script that you want to copy and right down here in the down down left uh, corner you'll see that a little copy of the script you've selected has appeared now if you drag this out it'll allow you to put down copies of the script you've selected 
This doesn't just apply to scripts, by the way. You can do this with building as well, which is really cool. Anyways, so let's select these three blocks right here and switch them out with these three other blocks. So we have subtract, multiply, and divide. And there we go. Now let's hit run and see what's going to happen. All right. So as you can see, 6 plus 5 is equal to 11. 6 minus 5 is equal to 1. 6 times 5 is equal to 30. And 6 divided by 5 is equal to 1.2. So as you can see, it works. It takes its two arguments or numbers uh, and, well, adds, subtracts, multiplies, or divides them and outputs it to the inspect block, which will then show us what the actual value is. So that's uh, some basic math. Uh, I want to show you something else too. Let's just delete this script. So remember in the last tutorial we learned about variables. Well, let's put these variables to some good use, shall we? So we ha let's make a variable here. And I'll just call it var. And let's set var to, let's say, 5 for now. I don't know why I like the number 5 so much. Uh, but anyway, if I then switch one of these out with a variable, just like this. So, we have a variable called var. And var is equal to 5. Var is storing the value of 5. So, if we take va and add 5 to it, since va is equal to 5, it's going to add 5 to var, which is equal to 5, and uh, that's going to be equal to 10, as you can see here. So it takes va, it's add, it adds 5 to va, and it equals 10. Now, of course, I can increase this some more. Uh, not 10, that's a bad example. There we go. So here we have var plus 12, which is 17. So that's something else you can do with uh, variables. You can also use them to add uh, numbers to each other. Uh, let's just copy the script right here and let's make another variable called var2. And we're going to set this value to, let's say nine. So if we delete this number, and we do this instead, bar 2, it's now adding two variables together. One is equal to 5, the other one is equal to 9. So it's going to say 5 plus 9, which is going to be equal to 14. Great. Something else you can do, uh, which I'm going to show you right now, um, you can also do something like this. Say you have 5, 5 again, uh, you have 6, add these two together. Yeah, yeah, let's change this number 5. I'm doing, I'm using the number 5 all the time. Let's do 2 instead. You can also do this. So here you have a variable, and the variable is being set to 2 plus 3. Uh, so var is it going to be equal to 8. Uh, that's another thing you can do. And yeah, that's about all I wanted to show you today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I really hope you learned something. And I'll just see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.